Okay, now we're going to take a look at another setup for the knee bar where my opponent has me in a back bear hug. But we're down in a kneeling position, I am at least, and I'm looking for one thing that really tells me I can get that leg. And that's when he sets his knee, and people often do, he sets his knee down between my feet. All right, that's what puts it within reach. So I'm going to post this arm, or even just keep it out to the side where it's, it can support me. And I'm going to drive this shoulder through. See how I'm already ducking into a rollout as I hook this leg. And all this happens pretty quickly, but then I push off and send this into a roll. And then before I complete the roll, I have a triangle position with my legs so that he can't get his leg out. All right, and I stay lined up with the leg so that I can then extend my hips and either pull it from here, even going to here, or just hugging the leg and extending my hips. Look at this again. Now it can go a lot of directions too. Once I roll, he might go right or left or continue further forward. And I have to be ready to follow that leg, to, to ride that leg and keep my alignment on him so that his knee is pointing toward me and I get a good knee bar against that hinge joint. The knee, like the elbow, is a hinge joint, so you have to keep the alignment there so that when you're extending, his leg has nowhere to go and it extends, hyper extends actually that joint. So from here, now I'm ready for this. Sometimes people won't necessarily even put the knee down, although that helps. Sometimes they'll just put his foot back there and I can see the knee. Okay? It's not too far back though, but he's on his foot. No, no, just your knee is in. Yeah. So what happens is, again, I look for, I dive for that leg. And there I am. If I can triangle, that's fine. Otherwise, I can just end up with my heels against his back or his butt. But I have to squeeze. There has to be a squeeze on his leg, as with all knee bars, so he can't get out. So he can't spin inside there and unscrew the position. And then I can extend my hips and his leg is nowhere to go from there. But as I brought him over, he might roll and go a number of directions. I'll, I have to stay with him. All right, I come up and then I sit on him. I'm going to go over again. And again, I can get that knee bar as a sort of a product of adjustment, staying with him as he rolls. Because people will try to roll and spin and use their other foot to kick and get their leg out. So you have to be prepared to change direction and go with him to keep that leg. Or for that matter, to flow from there into other leg finishes, heel hooks, uh, ankle locks, etc. figure four toe holds. These are things that are follow-ups from failed knee bars as he manages to spin his leg inside your legs. But if you play your cards right, you set it up well and you get a good squeeze on it, you can get a knee bar in many cases before he can really put a good counter in and force you to follow up to something else.